HTP fam, um, I uh, don't know when this is going to come out, if it's going to come out before the interview or after, but I want to talk a little bit about Terry Whittle, a uh, guy I did time with, a friend of mine. Uh, I met him in Farmington, and he, uh, he was 17, I was about 10 years older than he was. And uh, the other day he called me and we had a lot of, he brought back a lot of memories, things I'd forgotten about. Um, he used to have this tattoo of um, Missouri State Penitentiary with bars. And on the other side it had a um, metal heart, metallic heart. It said, break this, B. And... Uh, he was just a funny guy, you know, and I remember one time on his birthday, we um, uh, got him in a cell, lured him in a cell, and uh, gave him what we call a birthday whooping. And what that is, is we all jumped him. He knew what was going to happen. As soon as he seen us all in there and the door was blocked, he knew what was going to happen. And uh, he said, oh, this is how it is. Let's get it. And so he started swinging back, and we just dogpiled him. And what it is, you hit him everywhere except the private area, the neck, the face. You know, you hit him with all body shots and legs and arms and stuff. And we did that for a little bit, and then, uh, you know, made him a birthday meal. And I think Sonny did, actually. Uh, and we, we all just chipped in, like, sodas and stuff. But... Uh, <laughs> that was back when I was uh, addicted to pills. I think I told you guys I, a bunch of guys pulled an intervention on me. But uh, he uh, he and I was walking the yard one time, and, uh, and I told him the, the track has a slight rise in it. But as we're walking up this track, we seemed like we were going almost straight uphill. And I said, uh, "Hey, Terry." I don't remember this hill being here, you know, and uh, he starts laughing, and um, uh, he goes, uh, it's just a small hill or so something like that, you know, and uh, small my ass, you know, I just want to sit down, lay down somewhere, <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, Terry was quick to he was good with his hands, and he was he was quick to use them. You know, he never started no trouble. But somebody gave him trouble. He was quick to use his hands, and uh, and that was one of the reasons I liked him. You know, he had a lot of respect to him. You know, uh, he didn't back down from anybody. And uh, it's like I said on the live the other day. What he may not have known is that. Uh, I was ready to go to serious war for him, you know, if he got into it, got jumped or anything, it was going to be a bad day for somebody, and probably not us, and, um, but you never know in situations like that, you know, but, uh, the thing of it is, I, I was, not too many people I'll put my life on the line for, but he was one of them, Kevin was another, um, true brothers, you know, um, now, uh, Terry was a knucklehead, but not in a bad way. I mean, he just, <laughs> well, I did stupid things too, but he did stupid things all the time, but they was always funny, and, uh, sometimes he would, uh, just barely keep him going to the hole. I remember one time, um, he was, uh, uh, tattooing or getting a tattoo or something and this guy named Oscar told on him in fact I've forgotten the guy's name till he told me the other day 
Anyway, I'm in the wing and uh, found out that Oscar had told on him. And I told Oscar, I said, it, Oscar was kind of running away from everybody because there was more than one person wanting to get him. I said, come here, man, you're, you're about to get a, a, a beat town, you know? And uh, he runs out into the bubble and tells on me. I sure knew that was going to happen. He, he just got through telling on Terry. Mm -hmm. So the caseworker in the FUM, FUM is functional unit manager, called me in the office, and they was talking about writing me up for threats. They didn't write me up for threats. The caseworker didn't let me go into the hole. And uh, he talked to FUM and had me wrote up for creating a disturbance. I meant I wouldn't go to the hole, but I may get canteen restriction or, or something like that, you know, or maybe cell rest restriction, phone restriction. So anyway, I went back and Oscar left for a few days and uh, I, I don't know if he went to the hole or not, I can't remember, but uh, I told Terry and them and uh, I got the creating disturbance and I think I was on uh, cell restriction for a little bit. But the caseworker told me before I went back in, he says, you can't, you can't go around threatening everybody like that. You know, he goes, I need my snitches. I said, well, yeah, you need your snitches, but we don't need them. You know? And, yeah, you guys love the snitches, but we don't. And uh, I said, you know, you... you you want us to get rid of people that you don't like, but yet you want to keep these scum, you know? I said, look, I, I live by a, a certain rules, you know? And I said, it's not only because I want to, and it's the way I believe and, and it's the way I view things, is that I didn't, my life would be in danger. And so... He said, yeah, but that didn't have nothing to concern with you, and you could have left it alone. I said, it has something to do with Terry, my partner, my buddy, my bro. It has something to do with me, you know. He goes, well, whatever. He goes, I, I just got you out from getting rolled up for threats, you know. He says, uh, don't do that again, whatever, you know. Um, but anyway, we're going to do this interview, hopefully tonight. And uh, like I said, it will either come out Monday or be two, uh, Wednesday. Either way, um, I'm sure Terry's going to have a, a lot of stories. He's very animated, very, you know, he, he can tell a story, you know. And I, I think you guys will enjoy him. Um, I told him about Sonny, his old Sally. I know he was sick about that as I was when I found out. Um, Sonny actually told him I was dead. He probably meant he, I, I was dead to him because we found out um, Sonny was uh, ended up becoming a rat too because he thought he was going to get him out of prison. That's the only reason he became a rat. He thought he was going to get him out of prison. But um, uh, that never works, you know. Uh, I don't know where Sonny's at now. Uh, Personally, I don't really care. I mean, at one time, I really liked Sonny a lot. And uh, I know Terry did, too. Um, I mean, we was all like a clique. But, so I hope you guys enjoy this interview I'm going to try to do with Terry. And uh, hopefully it'll be tonight. If it's not tonight, it'll probably be tomorrow. Either way, it's not going to get released till tomorrow or um, Wednesday. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching.